Suspect number one. Kenny. Pitiful. Steve say you the man of the hour. Steve, do you roll around in your grass like that? You roll around like that, you'll be surprised at with all kind of stuff you catch. You know. <laughs> Steve, don't roll around in your in your garden naked, please. <laughs> and then then go tell the people I told you to do it. Don't do that. Y'all know y'all tell on me too much. Um I haven't even checked my mulberries under there. I know they probably all right. Um man, what did I want to show y'all? Stuff showing out. Look at how pretty this is. And the purple, the, the how how vibrant the purple is really actually does not show up well in the camera. So many leaves. There's two more two more flowers in there. There's two more here. A lot of flowers open. Uh which is a good thing. Um I think these, yeah, they're taken. See that? This is some kind of heirloom tomato. I can tell by the uh, wrinkles in it. I don't know if this is Zapotec. This might be Zapotec. Can y'all see how it has so many lines in it? That might be Zapotec. We're going to see. It's a pretty plant. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Can y'all see all the bloom on the watermelon? So, baby boy, Kenny, can't skin it. Fine, call him by his full name. He still don't. If y'all wonder why his name is Skinneth, when I got him, he was skinning bones. He was a tiny little kitten. His mama got killed. Got hit by a car. Anyway, oop, we got a female open. Let me show y'all how to do this. Let me see if I got a male open on this. On this other side. Mm -hmm. We have a male. So you want to break break that flower off. Now I'm just going to rip the petals off. Look at all them ants. Ants are pollinators. But this is what you're left with. When you rip this off. And I'm sure a million people have shown you guys how to do this. But you just want to take this. And then you see it's a lot of ants in there. And you just want to rub the rub the pollen all over the um what are these things called? And then I just usually leave that in there. The ants will transfer more. Um a lot of these are flowers from yesterday that closed up. Sometimes you can use the ones from yesterday that closed up if you don't have any open males. Um the pollen is usually still viable. Sometimes it's not. You may want to use two or three if you don't have any ones that are um, open right then. And you can eat these male blossoms. If y'all want me to do a video on how to fry them, let me know. I am willing to do that if that's what you guys want to see. I'm really just looking to see if I have any females. I don't have a lot of bee activity right now. All these are males. Y'all can see I do have a patty pan in there, but I just haven't haven't seen another female. They've all been males so far. So looking for a female to come. Another one. Um by the way, P. Smith Gardener gave me these seeds and these squash are looking lovely. So no time. Four minutes or something. We ain't got no time on the thing thing. So these are the carrot flowers. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this. Remember, y'all remember that broccoli? Now, most of the time when you cut a broccoli, you'll see some more shoots come off. No shoots. Nothing. It's just like... Man, I'm finna rip all these leaves off and use them for compost. I do not... I can't remember the name of this. Y'all probably can go back to my old videos. I have this, and this is why I don't. And yeah, some varieties of this broccoli that gets a big head. They beating the block. Y'all tell I live in an urban area. 
Anyway, um, like, this is why I really don't understand why people like some of these varieties of these big broccolis. They don't, they don't even want to size you. So what's the purpose? I got one head of that. I think it's not going to do anything else. If that sucker after I broke all them leaves off, don't do something, it's coming out of there. Because I ain't got time for that. I really don't. This this Romanesco broccoli. Romanesco broccoli, I think because it's because of the type of hybrid it is, it's very unreliable as far as making the actual broccoli crown part. Because out of all of these, none of them made. Well, one did, and I, I'm, I'm going to get seeds from it. I'm going to try to grow it again. But for those struggling with the Romanesco broccoli, I see, the, I see what you're saying now. Sometimes when they make some of these hybrids, they're just so pretty and stuff, and they're not tested for longevity. They're not tested for reliability. So don't always think it's you as a grower, because I know a lot of people will think that their thumbs are green. It ain't always you. Sometimes the breeders and the scientists, it's, it's just like people that breed certain animals. They don't care nothing about that animal. They just want to make money. You feel me? And it's the same thing with certain breeders. They don't care nothing about the variety or the ease of growth or the taste. Or they just care, oh, it's pretty. You know? And they just grow it. And then the grower is left to struggle with it. So I got to put another tie on this to try to squeeze all this together. But like I said, if y'all never seen this black cherry and how it do, I know me and Letitia swear by it. Um, I'm going to grow some, some sun sugars. I've never grown those. I've grown sun goals. I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to grow them this year or not. A lot of times, whatever tomatoes I start with, that's what tomatoes I start with. But, um, but yeah, y'all see the peas growing up in here? This is going to be monstrous. I'm probably going to regret this. Like, I just have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to regret it. Um, I think I'm going to have to put more reinforcements on this bed. There's no think. I know I am. Because this is already leaning and listing. Um, the cage is holding it now, but that's not going to be enough. So I'm going to show you guys how to make more reinforcements. If you're growing in tires, a foolproof proof way of doing it, of having some, um, some support. Look who it is. Chrissy! Come here, baby. Look at him walking slow. The slow, sexy walk. Hey, baby. Tell the people hello. Huh? You tell the people hello? Huh? You gonna come get petted? Okay. I'm gonna beat you. Uh oh. Y'all wanna fight for the people? Huh? Oh, y'all gonna be docile today. They normally play and roll and fight and stuff. I mean, play fight, not real fight. Um. But yeah, y'all, um, I didn't have a ton to jump on here and show y'all. Uh, oh, let me show y'all, you know, people be asking about the dragon fruit. So this is the first batch of dragon fruit that I planted. I just planted them. And y'all can see I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five up. Now, they grow super slow. Josh, I'm going to have to get with you because I think you say you had some cuttings. I see why people grow them from cuttings now because they just, they grow so freaking slow. Where's my other dragon fruit? I'm going to try to show y'all. And I think, I think, I think these are actually papayas. I'm almost positive that they're papayas. I was watching Robbie, and Robbie showed her papayas. She had a bunch of babies, and they looked just like this. So I'm almost positive that these are papayas, um, papaya plants. And I did plant some papaya seeds, but I forgot where I planted them. Um, there is a method to my madness, by the way. By not labeling, it forces me to know what plants look like. It forces me to know what they look like when they come up. Also, I want to mention this to people. If anybody wants walking onions, these are Egyptian walking onions. And um, these are really, really easy to grow, really great to grow. You can grow them in any zone. Even if you have snow, they will die back and they will come back from the roots. Um... If anybody wants any of that, please let me know. Because, honestly, people, I don't need any more plants. I really don't. And these are the same ones that Robbie grows. Y'all can see just how many. 
I sent Maureen Williams some. I sent her a whole bunch. So if you guys want some, please, 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 please let me know. And I will gladly get you some walking onions. I will gladly get you that. And um, they are an onion that pretty much grows, for me, they grow year-round. If you have snow, like I said, may kill them to the ground, depending on how heavy your snow is. Um, if you just get cold, they'll probably continue to grow. Um, like I said, I'd be glad to send you some of those little bowl bills. I have a video of how to plant them. They're super easy. You just shove them in the dirt, and they'll come right up. So, um, so yeah, I think that's oh. Jeez, I didn't notice this. It's finally getting hot enough for the ochre. The ochre is completely taken off. And let me give y'all a tip. When you grow ochre, as soon as you see true leaves, take the cotyledons off. If you take the cotyledons off, for some reason, it grows a whole lot faster. I've never noticed that on any other plant except for ochre. Um, just like I'm going to take that off. But this, uh, that's ochre too. But if you take the cotyledons off, for some reason... They'll grow faster. But keep in mind, you do want to um, make sure. See, like this one still has the cotyledon on. But it's trying to grow. It's growing taller. The squash is kind of pushing it. But but anyway, I have some okra in random places. And I got some more okra that's going to come up in random places. So I planted it. I think it'll come up. But we'll see. But yeah. Like I said, anybody who wants walking onions, let me know. Egyptian walking onions, and I will gladly get them to you. Uh, I'm probably just gonna charge for the shipping. Um, I don't bust nobody in the head for, you know, stuff if they want stuff. Anybody that's gotten stuff from me knows I don't. I could be charging for this stuff, and I don't. Because I, gen I genuinely want people to grow. And I'm not like some people. Some people be like, oh yeah, get out there and grow, and then they don't, they don't really help you. Not really. So, oop, y'all gone. Look at that. Oop, I keep, I'm sorry, shade. Look at that. So I got four strawberries ready. I'm gonna eat those. I got some more coming in the, in the play, but y'all. Lord have mercy. Let me film this right quick. Lord, the white boy. I'm going to get out of here. I got some work I here to do. I got some stuff to pull, but y'all keep watching. and I'm going to, um, y'all keep watching and uh, I will uh, keep you guys updated on what's going on out here. But yeah, I got some stuff that's got to come out of here. But uh, until next time, see you guys later.